Glad tidings of good things, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns, your watchmen shall lift up their voices, with their voices they shall sing together, for they shall see eye to eye. When the Lord brings back Zion, break forth into joy, sing together, you waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has made bare his own holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out from there, touch no unclean thing. Go out from the midst of her, be clean, you who bear the vessels of the Lord, for you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear guard. The Bible says, in Isaiah 52 verses 13 onwards he says behold my servant shall deal prudently he shall be exalted and extolled and be very high just as many were astonished at you so his visage was marred more than any man and his form more than the sons of men so he shall sprinkle many nations kings shall shut their mouths at him For what has not been what had not been told them they shall see and what they had not heard, they shall consider. The Bible in Isaiah is talking about the coming of Jesus Christ, the Messiah of Israel, Yeshua, the one who came to this earth to die for you, and to give his life for you. The Bible is a collection of books. In Greek, it means a collection of books. The word gospel means good news. And this is what we're here to do today, is to bring you good news. Because in this day and age, we live in a society of fake news, bad news. You never hear any good news. Today I'm going to tell you the good news of the Kingdom of God. Jesus Christ said that he is the only way to the Father. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. There's no other way to get to heaven. Religion, no other method can get you into the kingdom of God. Jesus said in John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Peter says in the book of Acts, Salvation is found in no one else. There's only one name and one way, and that's Jesus Christ. And I declare to you today, that in order for you to be saved, you need to come to Jesus Christ. You need to read the Bible. You need to know who your God is, who your creator is, and stop following the ways of the world. This life is temporary. The things that you see are temporary. The things of God are eternal. These are the things that you need to focus on. That's what it says in the Bible. Focus on things above, not things below. Don't focus on money and fame and all those things, but focus on the one that can save your soul from hell. Yes, fear him. The Bible says, yes, fear him. Don't fear man, but fear the one that can cast you into hell. That's the one you need to fear.